Just a blue card from our colleague, Mr. Coburn. Yes, Mr. Coburn. President Muscat. Oh, this is working. Yes, good. Um, very interesting what you said. Um, but would you perhaps not agree with me that it doesn't matter from which side violence comes, whether it be the left or the right, and bearing in mind that the National Socialists in Germany in the 30s were socialists. They, they came from socialism, um, as did uh, Stalin's mob. So, quite frankly, all this thing about fascism, they're always waving this word about. What about just making sure we don't have violence on any side, that we settle everything democratically? Wouldn't you agree with me, left-wing uh, authoritarianism is just as bad as right wing and at the moment the Labour Party in Britain are having tremendous troubles. Stalin as far as I remember was a communist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Thank you Mr President. I do too listen carefully what you said. Uh, let me tell you, it is simply grotesque to sustain at the present day, that there's a relationship between National Socialism and whatever Socialism st stands for throughout the history of Europe. Socialism is, first of all, democracy, respect for human rights, and National Socialism is pure fascism, which is the denial, the denial of democracy, human rights, the European ideal, the denial of civilization and the instigation of hatred in a pure state of negative mind. So being a socialist in the 20th century and the 21st century means being standing up right against any form of fascism, whatever you name it. National socialism is fascism, whatever you name it.